Hi, I'm clinical hypnotherapist Stephanie Conkel. Did you know that there is a difference between hypnosis and mesmerism? Um, if you're like me, you may think or may have thought before this video <laughs> that mesmerism and hypnotism was the same thing that mesmerism was synonymous with the word hypnosis because we often hear words like oh i was so mesmerized by her beauty right and we kind of think hypnotized right but there actually is a difference now some of my colleagues will argue with me that there is no difference between the two but with what but there is <laughs> and my studies of hypnotism have led me even deeper into mesmerism. Now, I would say that they are the same in that they are on they are different spokes of the same wheel. So if you think of a wheel, you can visualize a wheel and the wheel has many spokes. And this wheel, we can call this wheel um, miraculous healing modality wheel. And one of those spokes would be hypnosis and one spoke would be mesmerism. Maybe another spoke would be Reiki. Maybe another spoke would be uh, like a faith healer, right? Or shaman. All right. So there's many spokes, but to the same wheel. Um, the, the main difference between hypnosis and mesmerism is that hypnosis tends to be suggestive therapeutics. So that means that you're getting your healing through the power of words and the power of suggestion, um, but specifically through words. With mesmerism, it's more like hand passes and clearing the mind and setting intentions. And you do a lot of hand passes. Now, some people may say it's like Reiki. It's not exactly like Reiki. That's a different modality, but again, it's another spoke in that wheel. Um, uh, so some people would argue, well, you are suggesting to the person that something's going to happen to them after they do those hand passes. And while there is there is that that the room to make that argument, they're definitely they <laughs> the person who is experiencing or accepting um, the mesmerism, they do need to have that expectation and that belief that's going to work but i think that's for everything that you need to have that expectation and that belief even with the suggestive therapeutics so i guess one would argue that you're suggesting to them that the thing would work uh, if you do this certain thing and so on that hand um, that's why people do say oh well that that really is hypnosis because you're just suggesting to someone that it's going to work, but you're just not using your words to do it. I like to make the distinction of if I'm specifically using words to intentionally heal somebody, I call that hypnosis. If I'm using energy and hand passes and sigils and symbols and <laughs> um, stuff like that, then I call that mesmerism. All right, there definitely is a difference. It's again, uh, it's just a different spoke in the same wheel, uh, but I don't use the word synonymously. I, I have a very clear concept of hypnosis and a very clear concept of mesmerism, <laughs> just like a very clear concept of, oh, this is a good example. It's sort of like yoga and Tai Chi, right? Um, for my martial arts people. So yoga and Tai Chi, they're both spokes on a certain wheel of this, this sort of, you know, exercise and energy healing, right? But they just, there's, they come from different backgrounds and different cultures. Um, they may produce the same end results, but they're two different practices. So hypnosis and mesmerism is two different practices, but you're getting the same result. So was that clear as mud for you guys? <laughs> Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.